Hi folks, this is Big Boar Air Guns, and today what we're going to do is demonstrate the awesome power behind one of these 45 cal Air Force Texan air rifles against cast iron skillets. And what we have here is three cast iron skillets that I have the handles actually set through a piece of 2 by 4 with holes and wedges on there. The wedges actually have some screws to tighten it up. That way they don't move very much. They're going to be nice and stiff, allowing most of the energy from the bullet to actually pass through one to the next to the next. If they move a lot, they're going to absorb that energy. At the end here, I have a much larger frying pan ready to go, much thicker, and it's loose. It'll absorb the bullet if it makes it through the third frying pan here, making sure it doesn't go anywhere. And if it does make it through all three of them and hits that, that's going to be pretty cool. So what we're going to use today for bullets is this. We've got three different rounds we're going to test out. We've got a 144 grain round ball right here, a 220 grain conical, and a 340 grain conical. Now there's some bigger bullets you can throw from these rifles, but that's what I've got. We're going to test those out today. First thing we're going to shoot is the 340 grain conical here, and we're going to work our way down. Just a quick look here at the Air Force Texan air rifle. It is a four foot long rifle that uses 3,000 PSI air pressure to dump one of these 45 caliber bullets at over a thousand feet per second. It is a monster of an air rifle and today Air Force makes a carbon fiber replacement tank for this that will actually add another 250 foot-pounds of energy bringing the energy of this rifle very close to about 750 foot-pounds of energy. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead now set up the camera back here so you can see the impacts hopefully we'll get some good slow motion shots out of this. I'm gonna bring the rifle back and we're gonna take the shot from about 10 yards back. Alright here we go folks first shot. You know what? I see a hole from right here to all three of those cast iron skillets. It's a nice clean hole. That's amazing. That was the 340 grain solid lead I just fired at that. Let's go up and take a look. Holy cow, look at this. Look at that. There's a big old crack in the final cast iron skillet. That is a monster of a cast iron skillet right here. And you can see this big old crack right here. That's just amazing. That, that really hit with some serious power right there. After going through all three of those frying pans, let me grab the camera so you can see that. So there's a look right through all three of those cast iron skillets. That's the view that I got from where I shot from. So you can see how clean of a hole that 340 grain round made through each one of the layers here of our cast iron skillets. Let's look at this final hole in the back. Uh, you can see how nice and big that hole is. And then it hit the large cast iron skillet at the very end and just created this massive crack in it. Yeah, it is not going to withstand another shot. That is a ton of power from an air rifle, folks. In this angle here, we'll get a little bit more of the pass-through look. This will be the 220 grain slug. Let's see how well that does. All right, here we go. Well, obviously that went right through all three of them again. I can see a nice clean hole from here through all three of the cast iron skillets. It hit the fourth one again because I can see that it knocked it off of there. Let's grab the camera just so I can show you this. So there's the second hole. That was 220 grains. Boy, that is some serious power going through three cast iron skillets. Let's look at the main big guy here. Well, you can see the splash mark over to the right of my thumb here, right there. All right, so here we go. This is the 144 grain round ball. Well, unlike the other two shots, I don't see a hole all the way through, and it didn't knock down the frying pan in the back. So I don't think that had quite as much power to it due to the fact that the round is really light. I do see a splash down here. All right, so that is the round ball splash. That's what's left over from it. I've got the uh, 340 and I just saw the 220, which is right here. So there's our 
220 grain splash. Pretty well destroyed. You can see here the hole going through the first cast iron skillet. Let me kind of move that back a little. You see the hole going through the second one. And there is no hole, just a nice big kind of a crack and a mark here on the third one. So the 144 grain round ball did not go through all three of the cast iron skillets. We're gonna fire another one of these 340 grain projectiles at that. Here we go. That was a 340 grain conical I just fired out of there for the 4570. I can clearly see a hole all the way through three of those pans. And this time, we definitely have a hole through the larger frying pan in the back. It knocked it off of there and definitely created a nice hole in it. In fact, I just saw the slug. Go ahead and take a look at that. Here it is right here. So that was 340 grains smashed down to that after going through four cast iron skillets. Well, once again, you can see it definitely knocked off the fourth frying pan. All right, folks, this will be our final shot for the day. This is another one of those 340 grain conicals. Let's go ahead and drop that. Hopefully it'll go through all four of them. It's raining frying pan. I hear little pieces of frying pan coming down, that's for sure. Well, there you go, look at that. It did put another hole through the final frying pan. You see nice two holes now there. I can see the slug down on the ground, so it's doing its job. All right, look at this, folks. Look at the holes that we've been able to put through that frying pan, other than the 144 grain round ball. Every other shot went through all three of them and then those two 340 grain shots actually ended up penetrating the fourth one. We were able to demonstrate the awesome power of these new large caliber high power big bore air rifles. And I don't care who you are, you've got to admit anything that can throw a 340 grain slug